a fan freaking tastic one I got back from my honeymoon on quite literally the 4th of July. There ain't nothing more American than that. But on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, I came back to a little something known as a brand new update. And the first event of this update has begun the commune trials. Star, what are you talking about? The commune, this already existed. Well, it did, but it's been revamped from the ground up, which also technically makes this, if I am not mistaken, a permanent content update, potentially, because from what, from the way that they worded this event, from the way that they announced this new thing, it does indeed seem like this is going to be a reoccurring event. Now, the reason I say that is because the July update is now available in the Google Play and App Store, July 4th, the first start of the commune trials event and then also on top of that july 13th we are going to be getting a brand new pursuit of luck event as well uh, pretty much as soon as this one ends I, I believe or like as soon as this ending somewhere around then but yes keywords first so it does actually appear like these new events that we are getting are going to be reoccurring and they've been revamped so i'm so freaking stoked about this because y'all know me, I'm constantly over here on my little soapbox being like, we need permanent content, it's been years. It literally has been over a year. Maybe not years, plural, but pretty much a year ago, a little over a year ago is when we got the transport hub and we ain't gotten anything since then in terms of a permanent stuff. So the fact that now that we've kind of gotten the commune trials revamped for this first event and then the pursuit of luck has been revamped as well, which is like the whole, I think it's gonna have to do with like caps being stolen from the gas station doing stuff over there. I mean, we'll go over that as soon as that thing drops. Don't you worry about that. I'm super stoked about that. But it is cool to see these things revamped, especially in my eyes, the commune event, because personally, the commune event ever since it came back the first time the commune was around is like an individual season was really cool but then when it came back as a reoccurring event it kind of fell off a little bit a lot of the trials weren't really worth it it became harder the rewards in my opinion weren't really worthwhile but from the revamp from looking over the patch notes and from what y'all are about to see with your own very two eyes or maybe one eye or maybe zero eyes in which case i guess if you have zero eyes you probably won't see it but you'll hear about it the commune has been revamped. Hello, Marcus. How you doing? Good to see you. It's good to see you too, buddy. The commune is filled with evil spirits, but it's just routine for us at this point. We perform rituals by our sacred tree. We believe that decreases their numbers. And if I continue walking around over here, I don't actually know where he's taking me. Rituals are hard. I'm willing to help and grant you more strength. Ah, a new lab rat in our cage. Maybe you won't be as boring as Marcus was. Dang, Marcus getting roasted and toasted out here. What's up, dude? I'm willing to help you free of charge since it's your first time. And it appears like we get a little boost during this ritual that we are doing. And it is that we deal more damage to the enemies during a ritual active until you perform a successful ritual. So... There's some sort of like boost mechanic where maybe each of like the different people can give us a different boost and Marcus over here is giving us the first one and as y'all can also see here, it does appear like we have things that we'll be unlocking shortly, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll get around to those uh, ever so shortly. But uh, he's gonna go warm up his drones. Yeah, I imagine each one of the different ones will give us something. Uh, each of the different people will be giving us something different. We got a mortar over here. Do am I gonna have to dodge those? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's see what this ritual is all about. So there are four rituals by the looks of it, with four varying difficulties. And oh! intriguing we have recommended weapons and the recommended weapons are the the, the weapons the, against the ice enemies that we encountered in the past dude if i'm not mistaken hold on if it's recommending these weapons i think that means that from this event we also will somehow be able to acquire these weapons which is actually kind of big news because at like these these different weapons with like the different status effects were dropped during like single individual seasons or not seasons but events that happened like one time and then they disappeared and you weren't really able to get them anymore but now it appears like we might actually be able to get these somehow from this event so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm intrigued and i wonder if the pursuit of luck event that's going to be happening in a week and a half is also going to be similar but anyways i digress went ahead grabbed a quick little slash 
Thresher from my stash, so we have that thing ready and rearing to go because it sounds like we might need it. But we're gonna be doing the easy ritual here, so I don't know how bad we're gonna need it, but let's see exactly what is going on. We're gonna be getting 250 of these things and 300 points towards the season, so that's also good that this event's going on and we get these points towards the season. And also, dude, I'm not gonna lie, the timing that I'm very interested about is that this event's going on for a week and a half, and then, hello, hold on, I'll finish my thought in a little bit because we've got all these bloody chases coming after us, but they've got like, thir oh no, I've got to watch out for their blood. Okay, I forgot. That's what we got to watch out about. Okay, now we got some bloodthirsty pests. These guys are a little bit stronger. And, yo, actually, they're, do they're doing a little bit of damage here with me and they're being bored out of these freaking blobs. We got to be careful for the blood that they drop, though. We definitely don't want to be caught in that stuff. Dude, they do like a respectable amount of damage over here, but... That was it. Actually, we just completed that entire trial. So I was kind of panicking because I thought there was going to be a lot more. That was actually a very reasonable amount of things. And I really didn't need to use the Glock 7. Or I didn't really need to use the gun. I definitely could use like a little melee weapon or something. But I fully expected that to be harder. But I guess it was easy mode. So it shouldn't have been too hard. So, okay. We had to fight like three waves of enemies. And they really weren't that much health. They did do a decent amount of damage. Also, I am only wearing tactical body armor. So, not the greatest armor in the world. But not the worst. But it, it, it seemed manageable, if you ask me. But the thing I was talking about that I'm intrigued about with this new update and this kind of like, it appears like they want to revamp some existing events to make them better and make them last longer. The fact that the commune trials are going on for like a, a week and a half, pretty much. And then as soon as these end, I believe that Pursuit of Luck event's gonna be going on. And if I had to guess, it might be a similar thing where it's going on for a week and a half. And it, it appears like each of these events might uh, include us collecting these like kind of uh, event specific uh, things and then redeeming them through the trophy markets. And dude, I'm not gonna lie, this introduction of trophy markets and kind of being able to pick your own reward is actually, I, I like this a lot. This is something we've seen in some of the previous seasons, or not seasons, but some of the previous one-off events from previous updates. But now it appears like it's actually going to be coming in a kind of, you know, in like a real, like if this is coming in a reoccurring fashion and we're able to kind of collect this stuff, I don't know. I prefer this towards the old versus the old commune because the old commune, it wasn't really a pick your own reward type of thing, you know? You kind of just got whatever rewards you wanted. Whereas here, we can work towards specific rewards. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what this event ends up looking like. And also, I'm intrigued to see what the pursuit of luck happens and what happens with other events as well but all right we gotta buy something here i'm gonna buy the cheapest thing um because i like the quest was literally buy stuff and i didn't want to buy anything else uh and we have no more quest indicators so that might be it we might not need to necessarily do anything else here or if we i mean at this point like okay we do need to do more we still gotta collect more of these freaking tickets and stuff uh, but it seems like we might be kind of on our own at this point and it's just kind of a choose your own adventure type of dealio, you know, and it's kind of just up to us to see what we want to be doing. Because like none of these doors up here openable, we can probably talk to the people, I like, guess, yeah, Sophia over here and okay, we can actually use a little bit of coins to collect these boosts. Actually, I love to see that. Okay, I, I wish this was free or there was a way to do it free, but I love to see that there's another usage for coins because dude, people get coins through the game, right? Like there are ways to get coins, but coins have such a limited amount of usages because like everything in the store just straight up costs money. Uh, <laughs> whereas here, it's actually a little bit different and you can use coins. So your opponent in the ritual will be very strong, but the reward will be proportionately bigger. Active until you perform a successful ritual. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I might just take her boost here. That sounds very intriguing. Okay, hold on. The mortar will bombard the enemies, so be careful you don't get stuck in the kill zone. Active until you perform a successful ritual. Okay, so this is kind of like the thing that he used to do during the old commune event, uh, where he launches mortar shells, and he had to be careful about them. But this time, you can, you gotta, like, it's a choose your own adventure type of deal. And listen, I'm, I'm picking Sophia's adventure, all right? So let's see, and let's do normal mode now, because I believe that's gonna be the next one on our list. These have recommended weapons of the Dissolver, Sawblade Mace and Katana. 
I don't know why this one I had like the freezy weapons. Maybe I was doing extra damage because of the boost, so I didn't notice, but uh, I digress. Here is telling us these are the recommended weapons. Uh, I actually do have a katana and a saw blade mace, so let's see what the heck that's all about. And uh, we'll see what goes down over here. And y'all can see the rewards definitely a thousand towards the battle pass and 400 of these guys. Let's see what's going down. I must kill the awakener. Holy guacamole. That's a lot of freaking people. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go and bring out a little bit of shock and rain over here because these people, the necrotic hybrid. Whoa, mama. I did not expect this. Hold on, there's a lot of freaking people. Luckily, I can kite them around and I'm not gonna lie. This type of battle here might actually be the perfect type of battle for, uh, whatchamacall? This, see, oh my, oh my goodness. Hold on, those guys are only sleeping. They're not dead. This might be the perfect type of battle. Yay, shock and rain. Uh, for the, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's go and take down the Necrotic Spreader over here and the Shambler, Rambler, Bobambler. I can't believe the Necrotic Hybrid appeared, though. That freaking threw me off. We had him doing backflips, and okay. This guy, definitely not as difficult as his... Oh, we gotta destroy the Awakener over here in the middle? Okay, well, he is... Oh, no. He's reviving people! Okay, I thought that they were all gonna be dead. No, 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 no. They are coming back. Shotgun rain! Woo! We got to back it back up. Okay, so yeah, dude, this is giving me a little bit of laboratory flashbacks here because, uh, well, we got yay, a whole ton of laboratory peeps swarming us, including, I can't believe the Necrotic Hybrid decided to make an appearance, but let's go and take down the Awakener and boom, the ritual has been completed. You love to see that, ladies and gentlemen. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, 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 yes. Now, what is next on the list over there? So, yeah, the purification ritual. So we gotta get, you can't get rid of the zombies while the Awakener's alive. We gotta kill the Awakener, essentially. And y'all saw how many more rewards uh, we did get. Actually, that's the thing. I, I think that we can actually continuously perform these rituals as much as we want every day because it's, there's nothing stopping me from doing this again. Hello, this is intriguing. I'm intrigued. What, 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 what is going on here? I do believe that we can repeat that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. All right, I, I do wanna get better rewards, but you know what we're gonna do this time? Marcus, let's see what that mortar do, baby. Let's see what we can do with that little thing over there. Yes, sir. Uh, and let's see what I can do. Let's have a little bit of food. Heal on up that way. And I also went ahead and grabbed myself a little hunter's rifle because from what that ritual made it out to seem like, it seemed like we might need one of these guys for, you know, purposes and stuff like that. And let's see what the unity ritual is all about. The white deer is scared don't let the predators maul it oh hold on i have to protect the white okay so this is like this is like gonna be a protect the deer type of thing that's gonna be interesting hello shotgun rain there we go we took out most things over there oh yeah dude that thing's got a lot of health we just gotta freaking take these guys down from afar and oh no i mean it's it's taking some real damage this is not good Okay, maybe I go and equip something a little bit stronger because, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting freaking mauled over here. Oh, I'm just getting, like, stun locked. This is not good. The deer does have a good amount of health, luckily. But, all right. It recommended I use, oh, and the mortar's free. Okay, so, oh, we got bears now. We got bears. We got a lot of bears. What? That's a lot of bears. Okay, and what else is coming? Is there gonna be, like, an alligator or something? Oh, that's a mortar. Okay, the, oh, I mean, we got the alligators. Okay, so we got all the freaking enemies from the last event showing up trying to take down the deer, but that's all right. It's all under control. I've got everything handled. Okay, okay, that 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 went well. That went well. That I mean, that deer actually had a lot more health than I thought. But all right, so that's what that event is. It's essentially the the freaking guys getting swarmed by everything. Uh, I don't think that was a good use for the mortar. I think you know what? I think that's the thing. If you do have the coins for it, they're gonna be, you know, they're they're gonna have different usages. They're gonna have different good areas and different bad areas. And I I believe that the mortar. Honestly, for the Awakener one, where there were all those zombies running around after us, none of those zombies were particularly fast. I think that would have been a good one to kind of kite them around into the blast zones. I think that actually would have been quite good. Uh, but I like rewards, so I'm going to go over here with Sophia so we can get that cooking again because I definitely want to see this and I definitely want to see what the heck else this update has in store, especially with some of the updates coming up. If y'all want to do that as well, make sure that you are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay in the loop with all things about this update, about future updates and all that jazz. We're covering the Batsu ASAP and showing off everything that y'all need to know about them so you are aware of what you are getting into yourselves and hopefully y'all can do it in a safe and responsible manner without losing a bunch of your loot and jazz like that. So looking forward to that. If you are enjoying the update as well or just whatever you think about the update in general, I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below if y'all like it, if y'all 
y'all don't. If y'all prefer this version of the commune towards the other version and stuff like that, please let me know in that comment section down below because I would absolutely love it to know. And we might actually be able to get the brand spanking new outfit and like a bunch of these things today, which is pretty dope. And this is actually... I think another poster, which actually, a poster decorations were a new thing that were added in like the last event because you, it's essentially like a poster that you can just kind of like hang up on a wall or something like that. Uh, so it looks like that's actually going to be a whole new type of decoration that's been added to the game that we're going to be able to capitalize upon. Also, these trophies here are all one time collections. You can only collect these trophies one time, whereas the trophies over here, you can repeatedly collect. Not just that, they refresh every day and there are different prizes, but I love Love the fact that you know ash planks bricks titanium bars even steel plates and carbon composites things that are quite difficult to get especially if you're like an earlier game player are just available smack dab out of the trophy market just like that bing bang boom what's there not to love this is a great opportunity events like this to get your hands on rewards that otherwise might be a bit more difficult th that otherwise would be you know but yeah let me know in that comment section down below what y'all do think about it of course if y'all are excited for me being back from last, uh, from my honeymoon, back playing last hour, let me know by smashing the bejesus out of that like button. And if you are enjoying the video and all that good jazz uh, like that, I, I should like edit in like a saxophone or something like that. That'd be perfect because I love saying all, all that jazz, you know. Uh, but all right, this time it said they want like these raiders. I mean, it says, I mean, this is going to be the nightmare difficulty. So this is, this might get difficult. Okay. But there's a lot of rewards at stake, but the Raiders are ravaging everything they see. We got to stop them. So like, I don't know if this is going to be necessary, but just in case I've got the resonator ready to go. Here's my backup weapon. I've got the Kalashnikov 47 ready to go as the primary. And we will see what these Raiders are going to be getting into over here in the nightmare difficulty of this event. Let's see what happens. And oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. We have got some raiders. Oh, that's a lot of raiders. And actually, yeah, dude, they've got a lot of armor. My AKs. Oh, my goodness. Actually, dude, this is this is a lot of freaking raiders. They're, I'm be, oh, my goodness. I'm being freaking chased. I'm being chased like crazy. Hold on. There's actually a lot of these dudes. We got to do a little barrel roll. Okay, I can see why this potentially is like a nightmare difficulty. There's a lot of them. Let's bring out the armor piercing weaponry. I think that, that I see why that's recommended. It's not necessary, but it's definitely recommended. Honestly, the boost that maybe does more damage would also be not too shabby. Uh, so we got to kill the raiders. There's only like a raider left here. Where's he running to? Oh, he's blowing something up. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on over there? Something's going to something's gonna kaboom. Is, is that thing? Okay, that thing kaboomed. And we've got the psycho. We got a little like raider boss over here. What is he doing? Oh, why is he glowing? What is going on? Is he dr Oh, is he like drinking? He's drinking things to make himself faster. I'm bleeding. He's doing a lot of damage. Do y'all see what happened to my armor? This is not good. He's doing like 30 damage I hit. Get the heck out of here, Psycho. I'm still bleeding profusely. Hold on, there's more raiders? No, 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 no. There's another wave. No, 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 dude, my armor. I'm, I'm on fire. I'm actually on fire, folks. Hold on. This, okay, I can see why this is nightmare difficulty. I'm not gonna lie. My armor is in jeopardy. There's a very good chance my armor breaks here. This is not good. This is not good. My armor is broken. This is not, okay. I, I see why this potentially has the difficulty that it does. Please tell me that's it. Oh, thank goodness. I should have came in there with better armor. I'm a butt naked man. Well, I guess I have a hat on. I don't know what it's connected to. I'm freaking breathing in the fumes from my gun, apparently. Okay, no, it's coming in through this little like side pack there. And from the backpack, oh my goodness. Okay, that was no joke, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That, that was no joke. And also, it appears that now it's costing us 25 coins to redo these. Okay, so I, I think that's what it works. I think every day you only have so many attempts that you can do for free. Because I was gonna say, I definitely did not notice that earlier. Maybe I'm just blind. You know, that's also another possibility. Very distinct possibility. Uh, I did not notice that earlier. Uh, so potentially that's the thing that, you know, you can only get so many for free per day. So it's up to you in terms of like which ones you want to do. Maybe you see the type of, and that's the thing. There's updates every 24 hours. So I think that's twofold. We'll see when it updates, but I believe that means we get to do them for free again. Because it definitely didn't say 25 coins before. Constantly. I swear we did this for free a couple times. Um, 
And then I also think the rituals maybe switch up and there's different ones. There's no way that it's the same four. Like maybe the fortification ritual becomes easy and it's a lot easier and there's not freaking a g just gangle of 10 raiders attacking me at the same time, you know? Like, well, the, 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 there could be different kind of nuances to it and whatnot. But with that, we have acquired enough coins over here to get our hands on the thing that I want to do the most, okay? And that's going to be, and I, I mean, there are some nice prizes here, dude. Like uh, gas cylinders, ATV transmissions. That's another thing that's actually so exciting about this trophy market. And it appears like, it seems like they want to incorporate this into every kind of a reoccurring event that happens uh if this trophy market is indeed kind of going to be incorporated more it's a great way to get your hands on very high level dogs including rottweilers which are really hard to get blueprints for the drone atv parts right drone parts like lots of things that otherwise are a lot more difficult to get freaking high-tech components and i love that okay i do want to see more end game content i want to see the suburbs and whatnot added into the game do not get me wrong but i love that at least some of these updates especially these appear like they're permanent content in the form that these events are actually going to be reoccurring uh but then on top of that it kind of really does open the game up more and more to early to mid game players and even mid to late game players because like building an atv that's freaking hard man and uh, yellow it appears that they are advertising some weapons to us of which we can get 10 and it costs the money money so uh if i had to guess this might be okay so I, it, at least for now it seems like a lot of these weapons we can't actually get uh, through in-game means like these like the unity ritual weapons and stuff like that I I don't think we can actually get these via I, I didn't see them for sale anywhere I didn't see anything like that going on so we they might not be available in the game yet but hopefully that's a thing that does change and we can get them through some sort of means because it looks like they're gonna have you know they're gonna be useful during the events so hopefully they kind of like make them attainable without necessarily having you know, it's a freaking buy them outright from the shop. But anyways, I digress. As we do that, let's go ahead and make our way home. And as we are making our way home, y'all should definitely go ahead and make your way over to the link at the very tippy top of the description. Twitch.tv slash Star Slate, where we are live every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time, playing last night, our time to ball, having a blast over at Twitch.tv. We got the face cam on, we got the live chat rolling, and we are kicking off the weekend right every single week, same time, same place, at 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's the last day on Earth. We got the live chat rolling, we got the face cam on. Y'all can interact with me, with the community. Y'all can see my faces. I'm interacting with y'all and with everybody. And overall, it's just a great way to kick off the weekend every single week. So looking forward to seeing, so seeing some of you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen over there. If you are not already making it over there, if you don't know the time that starts in your own local time zone, because time zones can definitely be confusing. Switch that TV slash start slash schedule. We'll be able to go ahead and help you out because uh, time zones can definitely be confusing. I totally get that. I remember, you know, back when I was like, uh, you know, back in my YouTube watching heyday, back when I was in like middle school and high school, watching a ton of videos and people would like schedule live streams. I was like, dude, what's a time zone? Switch that TV slash start slash that schedule will be able to help you out. It shows you what time it starts in your own local time zone. And that is the same time that it starts every single week. Same same time uh, same place so once y'all get that down y'all be good to go dude did they uh what you call yeah, okay there we go we got the follower outfit here and y'all can see this thing in all of its glory i still gotta get the backpack actually hold on there is a pretty good backpack that actually fits this that i definitely want to get it's gonna be the one with like the deer antlers is sticking out the back uh but we've got the okay this one kind of fits this looks like culty uh but there's like a really good one with the dude did they change the music hold on hold on i think they like revamped the music that plays out of uh that thing it, it sounds like more hd or something hold on those, i don't remember those tunes being like am i am i going crazy or is that music like slightly different they like boosted the bass line or something Anyways, I digress. What we, I, I think this backpack fits pretty well until we get the right backpack going. Uh, but here we have it! Ourselves in our new deer hunter attire. Actually, dude, I think the hunt, like, I think the rifle is pretty fitting uh, for this fit, you know? Uh, or even, oh, hold on, let's get the crossbow. That would actually look pretty sick. But this is the new outfit, and y'all can see what it looks like with, uh, you know, what whatever things we decide to have on or off i still wish like a feature that i really want to see is the ability to mix and match skins where you know you can say that oh i want my helmet to be this outfit but then i want my body to be you know like a different outfit like from over in uh like uh this outfit or something like that like i wish that they would do that i would love the ability to mix and match outfits let me know what y'all think about that idea in that comment section down below this is the poster by the way that i was talking about as well in terms of what's going on with like the new uh event and it appears like poster decorations are now being added so we'll be getting that next poster decoration and the cool thing is you can stack the poster decoration uh like on top of uh, 
you know, something that is like just here, like that, which is unprecedented. You've never been able to kind of stack two things at the same tile, but posters appear uh, to actually work with that, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, here y'all have it, the brand new outfit and a look at the brand new event. We checked out all the rituals and now it's just a matter of us repeating those rituals and getting our hands on some prizes and the prizes definitely seem interesting. And I don't know, I like the revamp, but I'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below as well. And don't you worry, we'll continue checking out the revamp in that twitch.tv slash star type stream that I was talking about. I'm looking forward to seeing some boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen over there. I haven't streamed for the past like three weeks because I was on my honeymoon, but I am back. So your regularly scheduled nonsense will be back as well. But with that, and with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this fateful episode of Last Day on Earth. We are checking out the new update, but do not worry, do not fret, do not stress. We got another event coming our way, and uh, we've got some more stuff over here to check out as well. But with that said, hopefully you all have an absolutely favorite, fantastic 4th of July weekend. Hopefully the 4th of July itself was lit. And that's going to start wrapping up for now. Uh, thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.